Welcome to Heartland Leatherworks. Today we're going to be doing a real quick video and we're going to teach you how we made this. It's a golf card score holder. It's got a little pocket on the back for the pencil and then a little strap that we used some just scrap leather to make to close it up and keep it all in one secure little package. So we're going to go out to the leather shop and I'm going to teach you how to do this. It's going to be a real simple build. We're going to start off with cutting the leather to size. This one here has actually been personalized. This was based on an order that a customer sent me and he asked me to personalize it. So the very first part of this video we're going to show you we're going to take a blank piece of leather. We're going to put it in our Thunder Laser. We're going to go through the laser cutting process. I ended up making this about three times because I messed it up several times. However, the good news for you is at this point I've got all the measurements dialed in to where it'll fit nicely including the inside corners as well as the pencil pocket and the outside cover itself and we will have those plans available on our Etsy store if you'd like to buy them and or we'll be, we'll be making some of these for sale on our Etsy store as well. So. Again guys, let's get to the video. It's going to be real quick. We're going to run through the laser process. We're going to cut it all out. We're going to take it into the leather shop. From there we're going to dye it, dye all the pieces. Then we're going to glue the pieces like we always do with the Barks glue. We'll run it over to the sewing machine. This is going to be a real simple build because it doesn't matter which piece you sew in first versus second. If you're trying to make something like some of the other notebooks we have, you have to sew some of the pockets on first before you do the others or otherwise you're not going to be able to sew the pocket on. The way this is designed with your four corner keepers it doesn't matter if you sew this pencil pocket on first or last same with this last little deal and you could you could replace this with a snap button or a buckle or just not have one at all. This is just what our customer actually requested and what they wanted when we built this. So let's go to the leather shop and again, I'll be walking you through it. This will be a voiceover because I like listening to my music and we'll be playing music in the background. So let's go to the shop. Again, thanks for taking the time to watch our video. If you like this video, give us a big thumbs up. As many of you know, it's been a while since we uploaded a video. We have moved our shop from Oklahoma to East Texas. I retired this past year and Angie wanted to go back home. So we went back to her hometown in East Texas. So now instead of made in Oklahoma, everything's gonna say made in Texas. So again, if you like our video, give us a big thumbs up. If you know anybody trying to get into the leather craft, please share our video with them. Also, if you'd like to watch our main channel, it's gonna be Heartland Makes and Outdoors. We'll be doing a lot more laser work and woodwork in there as well. And everything pretty much on that channel is gonna be geared towards the outdoors. We will be doing shop build and stuff like that. We built a new shop for Angie, but it all starts out of the sawmill and we've made a lot of great stuff. So we got some great videos coming for you. Again, we appreciate your likes, comments, and subscribes, and may you have a blessed week.